Hello world, welcome back to the Razor RC. We're taking a look at the brand new Rilar though. This is a 1 12th scale uh, electric four wheel drive desert buggy. And I've actually never had a desert buggy before. So I'm super excited to take a look at this. Rilar though, uh, has been kind of killing in the last few years. They're a new company, came out with kind of higher end, uh, you know, sort of entry level vehicles. And uh, I think every generation of vehicles actually has been improving. So it's pretty cool to see this. I've never actually had a desert buggy before. So we'll have to check it out. I've not exactly sure how it will drive, but here's a little bit more information about it. The actual model number uh, made in China it is officially the XDKJ031. And uh, looks like there are a few different variations. So this looks like, I guess I got a yellow one, a uh, few different colors within each uh, variation. So that's kind of interesting. So yeah, I have not looked at this at all. I have not looked at any videos on this. This is all new to me, so it'll be kind of exciting. I like to do it that way, just so I'm not really uh, biased by anyone else's opinion. Manual looks like a charger, T-wrench, some body clips with tethers, and a little bit of information packet there. Reliable manuals tend to actually be pretty good. I think it comes with a spare wheel for the back of the desert buggy. Pulling off these little uh, packaging inserts here on the wheels pretty attractive looking vehicle wow kind of nice uh here is the radio and then that's pretty much it for the box so like i mentioned 1 12th scale uh radio wise i think it's the same one that they've been using on their more recent vehicles um let's take a look yeah i think it's the same decent radio um always an upgrade you can make with these types of vehicles though sort of the more entry level vehicles i think uh can always benefit from better radios but this will get you going a couple of body clips there in the front looks like the body just kind of hinges up which is kind of nice here is the motor heat sink does come with a lipo pretty snazzy looking receiver there that's kind of cool. ESC, servo, uh, adjustable drag link, adjustable turnbuckles for camber and steering, all of them with shocks, uh, different colors, sway bars, really nice chunky looking wheels and tires. These tires are quite large for a 12th scale. They're almost like 10th scale size. Dean's connector, uh, looks like LEDs on the body I'm assuming probably some leds here on the front or a light bar there up top so pretty cool looking suspension wise uh cannot bottom out the front chassis so wheels are fairly large for this vehicle probably the standard shocks um, underneath nice aluminum very nice satin finish uh, aluminum chassis all hex hardware which is really nice kind of improvement they've made through the years uh, even on the uh, shock mounts uh, and then yeah a little mount here on the back end for the spare wheel it does have the two drivers uh, very nicely detailed body looks like there is a little protective film so you want to peel that off uh, whenever you pick this thing up or I guess you can leave it on and get some uh, additional protection but yeah the body pretty heavy up top very scale looking I do like the styling of these desert buggies certainly a lot more realistic than your usual uh, 12 scale or 10 scale buggy um, looks like four wheel drive looks like an adjustable slipper there even so that's kind of cool wow so the adjustable slipper would be really nice definitely aid in traction uh, other components here looks like an aluminum uh, Ackerman bar servo yeah little servo I yeah it looks like integrated servo saver there underneath um so adjustable motor mount so you should be able to throw in a different pinion get a little bit more top speed or you know torque gear it down if you want a little more torque 2s lipo i believe adjustable battery strap i haven't seen this before this little reliable branded battery strap so that's pretty cool it's just like a nice little vehicle i do like that it has a slipper very few of these uh, vehicles actually has adjustable tension on I believe that's a slipper no center diff so that will make a huge difference in the way it drives if you adjust it and tune it for the correct conditions you'll get way more traction and uh, not spin out as much differentials front and rear feels like they're grease filled no oil or anything or maybe an open diff um, shock wise pretty good damping there is definitely oil in there 
uh, and definitely thicker oil up top so or in the front a little bit of toe out maybe something you want to adjust uh, off the bat a little bit of, no maybe it's fairly centered actually so uh, definitely something you want to do is just make sure it steers correctly your endpoints and stuff are set let me just check this out it does have steering dual rate steering trim throttle trim and throttle dual rate as well as some dip switches not sure what that's for maybe uh to control hmm, not really sure what that's for it does look like it has multi-channel functionality channel three channel four as well as the throttle and steering so four channel radio pretty cool uh the leds are hooked up to one of the channels but that may just be for power and not actual control so yeah and i guess the next thing to do is take this thing out and see how it actually drives all right we got the 2s pack charged up and uh, i did set the steering uh, dual rate just like i do with all vehicles and we're gonna see how this thing actually drives all right this is on the stock 2s pack four wheel drive nice this has leds a little rip there Whoa, this is fast. <laughs> On 2S? Pretty quick. Pretty quick. Yeah, I gotta say, the Rilaros tend to be pretty decent sized. I mean, different, different, different speed. Oh, actually controls pretty decently in the air. It's, it's like the big wheels and, uh, wow, that's pretty impressive. I didn't think I was going to be able to save that one. It's, it's the big wheels and pretty good uh, speed and the, and the four-wheel drive for sure. That helps that out. First crash there. What do you say we try a little bit of a bigger jump here? <laughs> Sounds like a good idea, right? Actually, surprisingly, pretty, pretty fun. I don't know. I, I like the styling of these desert buggies probably the most of any uh, RC car because they're, they're, they're just they're just very scale. Wow. But it, but it drives well too. That's the amazing thing. Huh. Very impressed. Yeah, I mean, it steers well, good traction, good power. I thought the slip would be too tight, but no, it feels really good. Um, handles well, easy to control in the air. Um, takes those big jumps pretty well. I mean, I was jumping that thing, whatever, 10 feet high or so. Impressive. Okay, so that was some running footage of the AMD 12, and uh, yeah, the buggy drove really, really well. A lot better than I was expecting. Uh, traction was amazing with these tires. I think they will hook up really, really well in dirt. You 
definitely can just run these have maximum traction probably like nine out of ten traction wise uh, the scale body looks really good didn't have any problems with breakages or anything like that um, none of these like light bars or whatever uh, fell off so that worked fine uh, even the rear tire on the back worked fine the suspension actually worked pretty good did jump this off some big jumps about 10 feet high or so uh, speed is quite fast I was only running on 2S, and I think they say it's about 30 miles per hour out of the box. Uh, you can hook up 3S, so it is 3S capable. They say 45 miles per hour out of the box. I would say probably, yeah, in that low 40s range. So definitely a ton of power, uh, drives really well, tons of traction, handles well, actually jumps pretty well considering what a big, uh, you know, the size of the jumps I was going off is really more for like 8 scale or maybe 10 scale. Uh, this is a 12 scale vehicle and I had no problems handling that. It rotates well in the air actually, even with these big weights and stuff on the body. The body's really heavy, but um, it actually controls quite well in there. So very impressed with how it drove. Um, in terms of any breakages, I did have one problem, which is that I did break one of the uh, front drive shafts as you can see there uh, the dog bone that goes into the out drive looks like it's sheared off so i will need to get a replacement for that or that nothing else broke i mean the rear you know tire mount here i thought might break but i didn't have any problems with that uh, we will have to find out you know over time is that an issue but uh yeah that was pretty much it um just great little vehicles seem to run really well even the controls i think are actually pretty good first generation real the radios and escs and receivers and stuff were not that good but this one actually i think is pretty good they they've gotten something that's pretty decent for this price range um i think at the time of this video this is 230 dollars and then they do have a 20 percent off sale right now so i think it's like 183 184 somewhere around there i'll have a link in the description below where you can pick one of these up but yeah this is probably my favorite real though i've had four now uh the first two were buggies i would say they've been improving over time uh, i also have the ak917 you know speed run vehicle that is is actually pretty good especially for the price this one under 200 bucks i think it's a very good value especially considering it's 2s 3s has you know aluminum chassis aluminum shocks um, sway bars decent radio tires are actually really good it actually has five tires but this is my favorite i i think it's partly just because i think it's way more uh, versatile than the other three I had the two buggies they had were really low to the ground they were more like 14 scale or 12 scale uh, but you had to drive them just on flat ground like a parking lot or a carpet track or something like that the AK 970 is really just a speed run car I'm not too much into the speed run stuff but I am a big fan of the dirt stuff so this thing drives amazing in the dirt you can do jumps you got tons of traction so this is a pretty good one I would say this is actually yeah one of the best if not the best reliers that they've come out with and in my opinion Rolar though um, although it's more of a budget brand so far, I would say they're creeping up more into like a premium budget brand because they use much nicer components. They're listening to feedback from their customers. The cars actually drive really well and the parts and quality and stuff is pretty high considering um you know these are under 200 bucks for a 3s capable vehicle so anyways uh, part supply wise i think you can get everything on amazon so that's nice you know if you have an amazon prime or whatever obviously you can get free shipping and stuff so it is nice that they have a distribution here within the u.s that way um and yeah no no real complaints or concerns this is a pretty good vehicle so anyways i hope you enjoyed this uh, video don't forget to hit the like share subscribe buttons look for more videos soon thanks for watching